MIH happens when the amylogenesis process is disturbed and we see those enamel defects on the surfaces of the molars with or without the involvement of the incisors. Now, this could affect both primary and permanent teeth. Its prevalence is estimated between 2.8% to 40%. Accurately diagnosing MIH is crucial because, especially in the moderate to the severe cases, the patient's oral hygiene becomes significantly compromised and this makes them more susceptible to caries. The examination needs to be done on wet and clean dentition. The lesions, they might be either whitish or yellowish brownish opacities, they could even be carious. Now, in order to determine that this really is MIH, the lesions need to be bigger than one millimeter. In this stage, it is really important to ask the parents about any history of prenatal, perinatal, or even postnatal diseases.